This event will be the trigger of nightmares. Rose McGowan is one of Harvey Weinstein's most vocal accusers, but on the eve of opening arguments, she says she's going to try and shut out what comes next, because even the sight of the former mogul is traumatizing. I start feeling like hot all over and tears come to my eyes and then it passes, you know, it passes. You just have to hold on to that thing passes. McGowan alleges Weinstein raped her at the Sundance Film Festival in 1997. Like dozens of other accusers, her allegations aren't on trial here. She's a prominent figure in the Me Too movement, a conversation about sexual assault that she hopes will continue no matter what happens in court. It kind of means so much, but also it can't mean everything because in case it doesn't go, you know, the way that I hope for, um, and I think that many, many are hoping for, you know, the movement will still carry on. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty to charges of rape and predatory sexual assault. His defense team says they'll show dozens of emails the accuser sent after the alleged assault that were loving and flirtatious. But experts say the defense is relying on outdated myths, that it's not unusual for victims to maintain contact, sometimes to try and regain control, in other cases, out of fear of personal and professional repercussions. McGowan says she's worried the jury of seven men and five women won't see through the defense strategy. I hope it doesn't play, you know, in that courtroom. It, it's so ugly, and it's so wrong, and it's just taking every kind of not evolved thought and throwing it on these women. Asked how she would deliver an opening argument, McGowan offered this. Do not let power sway you. Do not let power buy you. Because power is what's on trial here. A power she and other accusers hope the trial will help them reclaim. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.